Hey up folks, if you're new to the planet, this stuff here is Woodland Scenics medium grade ballast and it's really decent but it's about 1750 now when you pay for delivery for a pot full and it goes a long way but it's 1750. This stuff here is chinchilla sand which is a fiver from Pets at Home and Pets at Home is probably the dearest place in the universe so I think you can get it for as cheap as three quid if you shop around. Helping me out in this video is going to be my cat, Percy. Uh, he used to play Percy on Thomas. You know that little green engine? That was my cat that played him. So he's uh, he stopped doing that now. He's just back to being a normal cat. But he uh, he really wanted to get involved with this, and I couldn't really say no because he was going to savage me. So there's lots of rumours going around that this stuff's as good as that ballast, and it's as certainly a lot cheaper. So how cheap is it, I ask? Well, I've told you it's a fiver. But how much do you get for a fiver? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Stop being impatient. But first, I've got a little smidgen of this left, look. So I'm going to put it out on this cardboard here. And we're going to do a bit of a comparison side by side. I mean, the only tricky part we're going to have about this side by side comparison is uh, Percy doesn't half like look of this stuff. He finds it right interesting. And I think he wants to snort it. Get up. Oi. See so I just bossed him out at way there. I've told him I'm a lion so he don't mess about with me. He does my missus that will savage her if she uh, gets in his way. Look at that, you weren't expecting that way you look. He's trying to snort it all the time. Uh, which one do you prefer though, Percy? Do you prefer chinchilla? Ah, oh, right, you do prefer chinchilla. Bizarre that, isn't it? Let's have a little zoom in and have a look what it looks like close up. I think... I mean, I've only got the smidgenest tiny part of that uh, Woodland Scenics left at the bottom of the tub, but I don't think that looks a million mile off. It's slightly smaller, it's probably in between fine and medium, but let's have a look how much we get for us five quid. I can tell you now, you get a massive amount, and you get a full pot full, as you can see here, it's full to brim that, and you still get a right to chunk left in bag, as you can see here, probably about another half a pot, I guess. Actually, I've just had a super awesome idea. Just stand by. Hey up, folks. Thanks for joining me. Listen, I've got these pots of Woodland Scenics medium ballast. Uh, I'm knocking about 14 quid, uh, which is a saving of a, a good fiver. If you want any, just let me know in the comments and I can get you um, 14 quid or I'll do you two for 30. Uh, plus postage, plus that. Tell you what, I need to stop being super cracker stupid, don't I? Because let's face it, my video views are going through floor at minute. I'm seriously thinking about doing another hobby channel. Because uh, I'm running about a quarter of my previous views. I'm uh, absolutely ruining it with comedy. Because uh, it's a specialist comedy mine, isn't it? Anyway, I've just uh, masking taped sides off with this. Because I didn't want it to drop everywhere. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm trying to pioneer that little idea. So, uh, as you can see, I'm doing it super quick on time-lapse job. So, that section there, which is probably about eight foot in length and quite deep because one of them tracks has got banked corners so that we're using loads, that has taken up the spare amount that were in that bag left over. So, I've still got a complete full pot left. So, what we did then is we went away for a weekend on, uh, on a train journey to Edinburgh and uh, look at these delights that were in Doncaster Station. I couldn't believe my luck, and uh, look at weathering on that, it's super. It made me want a Colas, uh, and I've missed one yesterday by three pence on eBay. Yeah, it was a nice Backman 37 as well, but not to worry, uh, I can't afford it anyway. Even a couple of grotty 47s at back it were like a proper little museum. Anyway, we went on one of these fancy Azuma trains that you can see here, and that's how I got my intro video. Anyway, I don't know if there were an earthquake when we'd gone, but look at cracking we've got here. I tell you what, I shouldn't have put that dehumidifier on. I've dried it out far too fast. I don't know if it's because it's chinchilla sand, but I've used dehumidifier before, but it weren't as fine as stuff and it weren't as thick a coat, so here's my little repair uh, attempt. So I thought if I just sprinkle a bit on and rub my finger over it, will it fix it? And to be fair, as you can see, it, it pretty much does. The only thing is it means you're doing the job twice, so uh, definitely wouldn't use a dehumidifier with this stuff. But yeah, I rubbed it, uh, rubbed it in, and then I just re-wet it, re-glued it, and uh, it pretty much came looking all right. And I don't know if any of you are thinking, why have I not shown you my technique for ballasting? I've not shown it because there's that many videos on how to do it. Uh, what's the point? All I use is a long, like, dessert teaspoon, but we're right long handle, like, for ice cream sundaes. 
uh, I find it gets right into the pot and I can spoon it on and control it quite good. So anyway, that's that section that I reworked. It was fully cracked and now it's fully not cracked, as you can see. And then at this point I thought, I hate doing this ballasting so much, I'm just going to have to finish all the job off. So at that point I started stripping all my walls down and I'll show you by drone here, look. I've done all this area at the back. I've even put a printed off. I printed this on laser printer and this back seam out of some A3 pages stuck together. It's not ideal. And then I've dampened it so I've made it all wrinkly because I'm an idiot and I've done it wrong way around, but it is what it is. Also, you can see them two absolutely pointless sidings that I did at back beyond that uh, what will be retaining wall, what you can't see. And as you can see, like an absolute madman, I've done it all with all my decent loco still on track, like an absolute maniac. So, yeah, I don't recommend you do that, but I'm just an idiot and I just couldn't be bothered. I'd fully had enough by this point. So I've done all this bit here. This is a right mission because it's about a four foot stretch to get to that and it will back breaking. It will fully, fully back breaking to get that done. Really, really bad. So then I've done this section. This is just above the uh, main area where you'll see all the time on the videos. This is that back section that I've redone and put a load of grass and whatnot on it. And uh, there's a, I've got a guy just checking it out as we speak. Look, I don't know if he thinks it's wrecked or not, but it's not dry yet still. So uh, I don't know how it's going to look, but I've still got to weather it. But I thought I'll get some greenery down as well, because then I can just weather onto greenery as well. So that's where we're at. I'm going to have to let it dry for a couple of days, then start putting stuff back together before I can even start to clean track up to then start to run trains again. So my video is going to be delayed. So just on a side note, this is my little bit of disused railway that I never, I don't think I've ever shown this. I just wanted to do a shout out for Proper Chuff Railways. It's done me an absolute solid and done me that logo, yeah, the circle logo with the 37 on, on my channel. Really chuffed with it, mate. Really decent here to do that. I don't know if you're watching, but it basically does them for £49.99. So if you want one, message me and then I'll, I'll sort it for you. Anyway, back to the ballasting. It'll either be fine or ruined. If it's ruined, you'll not see me again. And this will be the last video I ever do. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be back in about a week, folks. Happy as Larry. Cheers, folks. See you soon. Hopefully.